Oh, it's a big jump. It should be enough for Westford Hansen. It was bright Estonian sunshine as the Nordic combined women got ready for action in Ottawa. High spirits as we approached what was likely to be a tight affair as the battle for the World Cup entered the last stretch. The mass start format saw the cross-country start proceedings and saw World Cup leader Ida Marie Hagen looking to continue her recent dominance. She hadn't won any events before this season, now she was chasing her sixth. Hot on the hills was her nearest challenger, Guido Westford Hansen. She hadn't won her last seven events, but before that she had dominated with 20 out of 22 wins. But Natalie Amrister, wearing the red bib for best skier, was also in the mix. These three moved away from the rest as this five-kilometre race headed past the halfway mark. Hagen moved clear of the other two towards the end of the race, looking for her first win here after a seventh place last year. She never looked like giving up her advantage. By the end of the cross country, it was comfortable for Hagen. Behind her, Westford Hansen won the scrap for second. The time's being converted into points carried over to the ski jumping. As day turned into night, the women got down to business. Mary Leinen Lund was 12th after the cross country but put in a fabulous jump in her search for an eighth podium of the season. But it was Gida Westfall Hansen who was really on fire. This jump was the longest of the day to put her on top. Nida Marie Hagen was last to go, but she couldn't match her fellow Norwegian. It's a return to the top step for Westford Hansen, who celebrated like it was her maiden win. An all Norwegian podium, Norway the only country to produce a winner this season. I'm very happy. The most important for me is that my body is uh, like responding good again. And uh, yeah, today I think I uh, yeah, did a very good job in the hill. So yeah, I'm very satisfied. Westford Hansen is within 80 points of Hagen in the World Cup standings. With two more races this weekend in Ottawa, anything could happen. Keep up to date with the exciting last stages of the World Cup season on the FIS app.